Here we presents the top 5 best budget wireless headphones. Starting at number 5, Apple AirPods Pro. The AirPods Pro are easily worth the premium you'll pay over standard AirPods. For one thing, they're much more comfortable and secure thanks to silicone ear tips that replace the standard AirPods hard plastic. They also sound much better. The ear tips create a better seal with your ears for dynamic bass response. We also love the active noise cancelling. You'll rarely hear your kids squealing in the next room when you're trying to get some work done. To that end, there are a few features that the AirPods Pro adopted to make them more useful than your garden variety true wireless earbuds. For example, transparency mode allows you to pump in surrounding sounds so you don't miss your stop or you can join in a conversation without skipping a beat. You can easily enter transparency mode by long pressing the stem which is now actually functional instead of unsightly. A single squeeze on the stem will pause or play music, a double squeeze will skip to the next song, and a triple squeeze will skip to the next song. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Powerbeats High Performance. AirPods are easy to use with iPhones, but they're not all that great when it comes to battery life or sweatproof performance. Our favorite pair of workout headphones are the Beats Powerbeats, which work best with iPhones. After spending some time with them, it's clear that the new Beats Powerbeats is a significant upgrade on the company's wireless workout earbuds, offering a sound quality lifted directly from the Beats Powerbeats Pro, an IPX4 rating and Apple's H1 wireless chip that can summon Siri with the sound of your voice. They're supposed to last 15 hours per charge, 6 hours more than the Powerbeats Pro and 3 more than the Powerbeats 3, and can be paired to multiple devices and share songs wirelessly with another pair of Beats headphones. They're not quite as good as Apple's high-end alternative, the Beats Powerbeats Pro and Apple AirPods Pro, especially in terms of the way they fit and sit in your ears, but they have a lot of the same technology and specs to make them a decent cheap alternative. Halfway of my listed number 3. Sony WH-1000XM4. Sony's flagship noise-canceling headphones are now in their fourth generation, and it shows. The WH-1000XM4 and 9 tenths, Wired recommends, offer 30 hours of battery life, an ergonomic design, and some of the best sound quality you'll find, thanks to Sony's DSE Extreme Upscaling Engine. They cancel out the world better than nearly all competitors, and they can even sense when you talk and pause your music, you'll rarely reach for the pause button. Sony has also addressed the one thing we hated about the previous model, call quality. New microphones combined with better processing make these great for Zoom meetings and phone calls alike. While the WH-1000XM4 headphones are almost identical in looks to their predecessor, there are some new features tucked away inside. Bluetooth Multipoint makes them just slightly more convenient in everyday use, by letting you connect to two devices at once, more on that later. It makes it easy transitioning from listening to music, while working at your desk to watching a YouTube video on your phone, and back again, all without opening your Bluetooth settings. This was one of the biggest complaints with the WH-1000XM3, and having it here in the Sony WH-1000XM4 is definitely going to make plenty of people happy, with one big caveat. If you're going to use multipoint, both connected devices need to use the Op Bluetooth codec. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Epo Zai Cineaser. After using Game Ones for years, Brandon McDuff, a former professional gamer and the co-founder of a multiplayer game startup called 1336 Studios, says they are still the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. As a PC gamer who is also a game developer, there are some days where I've spent over 12 hours with them on without even feeling them, he explains. He recommends them for anyone who plays for long periods of time, and because they're wired, they can work with all consoles. I would absolutely chalk up some of my success in gaming to the quality of sound produced by wearing these. They really do sound that good, which makes it hard to use anything else, he says. The gaming headset market used to be a place full of also ran headphones with poor mix lapped on them. That isn't the case anymore, just in time for everyone to be working from home for the foreseeable future. There are a lot cheap excellent options, which makes an expensive but good one a little tougher to justify. And number 1. Bose Noise Cancelling. 
Choosing between the Bose 700 and the Sony WH-1000XM4 is like choosing between a Ferrari and a Lamborghini, you will be thrilled with either one. If you're in the mood to nitpick, the Bose is zero. Two ounces lighter than the Sony, and compared with the slightly plastic finish of the XM4s, the 700s feel more substantial and durable. The touch controls are similar to Sony's, both in responsiveness and ease of use. Simple taps and swipes trigger play pause and skipping or rewinding songs or podcast episodes. Where the 700 really shines, however, is in its noise-canceling capabilities. During testing, construction was happening outside my house, and I was able to completely block out sounds of concrete being ripped apart and cement trucks and bulldozers crunching gravel. It's not exaggerating to call the Bose 700 an experience. It makes listening to music or podcasts or watching movies feel novel. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.